Hello my dear friends welcome to our channel must watch tips and this video is going to be very exciting because in this video we are going to make a presentation on the superheroes yes Marvel Avengers so I have decided to divide this video into two parts where in the first part we will set up the graphics which we need for this video and in the second part we will set up the photos and the required animations so I hope you watch both the parts so that you can make this presentation as it is so that you do not end up having the knowledge of only first part so without any further talks let's get into the video very quickly so here I am in the PowerPoint presentation and let me tell you one thing that currently I am using uh, Microsoft Office Home and Student 2019 version of PowerPoint. So the features which I am using in this presentation are available in almost all the versions of PowerPoint. Now let us take a blank presentation and let me remove these two placeholders. Now the next step is to add a smart art. So for that we will go to insert. We will click on smart art. And here you can see an option of cycle where we will choose this one. Basically, this is a Pi Smart Art infographic. So we'll click on OK. And by default, you can see that there are three placeholders which are provided. So if you want to add any placeholders, just right click on this object, go to add shape, and you can choose whatever after or before. And in similar way, let us have six placeholders like this. And if you are targeting more number of pictures to be displayed in this presentation, then you can add more placeholders as many as you want. Now here you have noticed that these are the text placeholders. So basically we need to convert this to object or shape. So we will go to smart art design and here you can see an option of convert. So if you click on this, there is an option to convert this to shape. So we will click on this. So now you can see that these are converted to shape. Now before doing anything, first of all, let us arrange this placeholder to make this whole group look like a perfect circle like this. And now we will add a circle in between. So we'll go to insert, go to shape and click on circle. Now many of you might face an issue while making a perfect circle. So if you try to make a circle like this, you may end up having an uneven radius across all the sides. So the tip is to press shift while you make a circle so if you hold shift button and then make a circle then it will be a perfect circle so let us make a circle over here and we will place it exactly in the center of this object which we have created previously now let us change the color of the circle which we have just created uh, let us select yellow and in shape outline but let us say no outline and we will do same for the back object which we have created so we'll select no outline now let us make this smaller and if you are not sure that this circle is exactly placed right in the center of the objects which is behind so we'll, what we'll do is select both of the object go to shape format and here in align you have an option to align center and again align uh, you have to select on the align middle. This is how both the objects are aligned exactly in the center. Now here you can see that uh, this is as a whole is a circle but if we go to shape format and have an outline of white so you can see that there are six different objects. So let us again place this in the center. So we need to create six circles like this as we have six uh, objects right behind there now there are two different methods to copy this circle identically so we don't need to go to insert again and select the circle we'll just press ctrl c by selecting the circle and press ctrl v so this is how you can make a copy of this circle the another method is that you need to select this circle and press ctrl d so you can see that there is a circle created and again you will press ctrl d as many times the circle will be created so we need six number of circles so we have created one two three four five and i'll again press ctrl d so six and for all these circles i'll arrange it in the middle and align it in the center and again 
I'll arrange this exactly in the center of this. Now we have six circles and six pies. So we'll subtract this circle from each of the pie which we have behind like this. So what we will do is we will first select the pie and by holding shift we will select the circle. Then we go to shape format and here you have an option of merge shapes and in this we will select subtract. And now you can see that the pie has been subtracted from the circle and in the similar way we will do for all the remaining five pies. And now we can see that we have completed the first step. Yes, we have created the placeholders which we wanted. And as we have subtracted from the circle, these are now separate objects as you can see. So now we have to group this. But before that, let us change color of each and every placeholder. Now let me group this by pressing Ctrl G and by pressing Ctrl Shift I'll increase its size. Now let me show you one thing. First of all let me ungroup this again and press Ctrl D. By clicking on the first slide I press Ctrl D and in the second slide I will first group this, rotate this object around 180 degree. By pressing Ctrl Shift again, I'll make it smaller and move it to the left hand side of the slide. And by right clicking on this, I will ungroup again. So in the first slide, we have six placeholders. And in the second slide, we have made this placeholders smaller and rotated a bit. And now, if we select all and apply morph transition to this, let us see what we have made. So you can see that these objects are reshuffling and the animation is looking quite cool. So this is what we were expecting and we can say that we are on the right track. So this is all what I have planned to complete it in the first video. Rest of the things I will show you in the next video. So you can click on that I button and jump to that video directly or you can go to the video description. There you will find the link of that video. So see you in that video. Till then, goodbye.